Fernandez, can I ask you a question, sir? What's yeah. what's the box set on your wall? The one that's not in there. The box set that's leaning off, right off the the thing. Uh, it's actually a Netflix. Uh, it's a Stranger Things uh, oh, Netflix. Yeah. I was hoping it was some crazy thing I never but heard. But you know, if we want to make it interesting and to start off not embarrassing your co-star, look at what I got here. I got a VHS of Dangerous Liaisons. All we were up. just chatting about it. Wow. Yeah. Uh, which is from, my which is my favorite film of all time so uh, uh, from the dark ages yeah well VHS. not the dark ages sir from 1980 before, before cds <laughs> yeah you have uh, yeah, to I know. now you have to take it out and look at it to the light like this no <laughs> this is this is this is purely yeah. decorative we, we it call it movie. instead yeah, of calling it bc we call it bcd before <laughs> before cd yeah. So you can imagine how nervous I am that I'm actually talking to Mr. Malkovich from yeah. my living room. Uh, yeah, so, beautiful. But, but, are you, where are you in San Juan or where? I am in Guaynabo, which is sort of a San Juan adjacent. Sure. Yeah, so, sure. all right. So, but let's talk about Space Force because I yeah. um, saw, saw the whole season with my wife last weekend and we completely loved it. And I was talking to Mr. Greg Daniels and he mentioned that the. Uh, you, Mr. Markovich, reached out immediately when Netflix made the announcement of just with the title. So, what <laughs> made you what once what made you reach out? You didn't know how great your character was going to be. So, tell no, me. No, I about just that. thought it sounded. We were talking about what to do, and I had just finished a a long, quite dark, television series called The New Pope, which which. In isn't so comic in in <laughs> thrust and uh, uh, then I was doing a play of a comedy in London and sort of remembered how much I liked that and uh, then I heard there was this announcement and and that Greg Daniels and Stephen Carell were going to do a series called Space Force and just. The idea just cracked me up. I just yeah. thought it was a hilarious idea. Would well, you lucked out uh, that it turned out that, I mean, it's such mm. a rich, rich, well-written show. So Ben, Yo. did you know everything you need to know about your character at, at once? Because before we see him, he gets mentioned and it's F Tony. So did you know everything that you needed to know about who you were playing? The, like the name, the name was a beautiful little <laughs> to have yeah. a first word in your character name. I remember the first day. That, so when you, when you sit and do I actually have it, but when you sit and do these table reads, there's a little placard with the, your character name and your name underneath and everybody, you know, it's like Mark or like Mallory and mine just says, fuck Tony. <laughs> <And> yeah. it's, <laughs> it's like, okay, this is where I see. But I think the way that they tackled it is, the first half of the name is kind of a play on Fuck Jerry, that Instagram handle, and also those are the people that did the Fire Festival stuff. Uh, so uh -huh. the idea of the danger and someone like that there. And then uh, the Mooch with Scarapaducci for the last name. But what I tried to do is I didn't do research on either one of them to make sure that the character was totally different and new and didn't have any similarities. Uh, I think that's something that we kind of all did. None of our characters are solely based on anything for a one-for-one -one ratio in the actual Space Force mm -hmm. politics. Uh, mm -hmm. but yeah, it was a blast. I mean, imagine getting, you know, imagine seeing your script and you're looking for when fuck Tony says something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's right. Beautiful. It's yeah. Right. So Mr. Malkovich, uh, it's sort of the Mallory Nair di dynamic is a gift that keeps on giving throughout the season. Talk about sort of writing that line of not just being a foil to, to Corral. So if you could t tell me a little bit about uh, sort of developing that, that relationship. I Part of the series, the, the, I think the most human aspect of this series is, is in Stephen Carell's character's struggle to fulfill this mission with which he's been charged, which is to put boots on the moon by 2024. That's a very short time frame to do anything. Uh, most people can't develop a movie within that period, <laughs> let alone uh, develop a, a colony on a lunar colony. <laughs> and, and so Stephen Carell's character, whose wife is in prison, who can't get his daughter to, to clean up her smoothie, her, her, her juice, jumper <laughs> juice off the kitchen counter, somehow is charged with putting a, a, a military force on the moon and it's a job which he, he's not super well equipped for and although some of the people he hires might be well equipped to do their job 
he doesn't really understand their jobs. I'm not sure how interested he is in their jobs. Uh, <laughs> and mm -hmm. that's what I think makes it funny and lifelike. And in particular, his relationship with Mallory is a, a kind of typical relationship between the quote science as in quote follow the science quote mm -hmm. and and people who are not let's say fervent believers in the science or <laughs> who uh let's say even just prefer to use their own experience their own observational skills and their own instincts and intuition. I'm not saying they're right to, I'm just saying that most, that's how most people live. Mm -hmm. I don't think most people trust scientists. In fact, I, I doubt a majority do. Um, mm -hmm. And if they do, they'll go, yeah, I believe you, but then they'll go ahead and do what <laughs> they want anyway. Uh, they'll be like, yeah, I believe you, but I'm going to go to my barber and get my hair colored anyway. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, I got you. I got you. So I would talk to you. Sort of, that's the clash between mm. the two. But Steve's character has it with almost everyone. Mm. Yeah, he does. And anyway, so I would talk to you guys forever, but my time's up and you got other journalists waiting in the wings. So thank you so much uh, for, for your time. Uh, the show is fantastic. Stay safe, okay? Thank you. Yeah, same to you. Good luck, Dominic.